that's how it is when you um you start losing subscribers you never know like what what video did they watch what did i say in the video that made them not want to subscribe to me anymore but i'm just scared to upload this video because i don't want to upload it and somebody be on there and i lose like three subscribers and they'll be like she ain't got a thousand subscribers yet but i have proof i have proof that i got to a thousand because i screenshotted it the question isn't if i make it is how far will i go keep them out my business so, i am happy to finally say that I have reached 1,000 subscribers. Just want to thank everybody. I don't know. This is, this is, I didn't even know how I was going to feel when this happened. And I don't even, I don't know. I just feel really numb right now, I guess, because it's been so long. Fuck them up. Get them black. Fool. Get them black. Cause Get them black. The Get them black. Money. Fuck them up. I played. Get them right. Cause Tighten up. Get them right. But I know, like, deep down inside, I'm happy because it's a stepping stone. Um, to many, it may not seem like a lot. It um, it's like at the bare minimum, like for people, bare minimum for people who reach their hundred k subscribers or their fifty k or their ten k. And here I am celebrating my small wins. So I don't know. As rough as I look right now, you know, braids tired. You know, I'm just laying here. It's it's been it's been like pulling teeth these past couple of days. Um, I was trying to reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the new year. Like that was like my, you know, end of, end of the year resolution. Did it happen? I got to, um, I think 996 subscribers. I got really close and I could not get the last four. And I didn't want to like manipulate it. I wanted to just genuinely just get it because people wanted to subscribe to me. I didn't want to have to force people or beg big people i wanted it to be like i genuinely got the thousand subscribers just letting life happen and i i reached it it is january 3rd i believe is it january 3rd yeah it's january 3rd so i'm not too far off um my end of the year goal was the thousand subscribers um 100k followers of course <laughs> but that's these are my end of next year goals actually the 100k followers um on in instagram is my next year goal so this year my my goal was 10,000 um followers on instagram and i got to 25,000 i believe i'm at 25,000 by the end of the year i took screenshots of everything that um I took screenshots of everything, you know, just to keep track of my progress. But I am very grateful that, you know, you know, it's been a long, a long year. It's actually been a long three years because I started this journey of, you know, starting my YouTube process in 2019. Um, that's when I first decided that I wanted to do youtube for real and i you know started my first vlog in march 2019 my jamaica vlog that was my very first vlog and here i am i have plenty more vlogs that i need to edit they haven't been coming as fast so now i have to work on my watch hours um but you know this is the journey to get and monetize this is what we're going through um small wins small wins so I once again I just want to thank everybody who who've been supporting me, who've been watching my videos, the people, my new subscribers, old subscribers who still rocking with me, still staying down. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Like I said, I know I look rough right now, but y'all gonna see me in my natural. I just had to get on the camera real quick and say thank you to everybody who's been supporting me. Um, of course. Most definitely look for more content. This is definitely going to motivate me to put out more things. Um, another thing that's been like a challenge for me, my computer is really, really slow. Like it's dramatically slow. I have, I don't even have an old MacBook. My MacBook is a 2019, I believe. 2019 or 2020. I got it in 2020. I think it's a 2019 version. It is the slowest freaking computer ever right now. And it's driving me crazy. And it takes away all of the motivation that I have for editing when I get in the mood and it's just lagging and I can't get through, you know, just editing one video. I just turn my computer off. Just ordered me a new computer today. We start off the year fresh. I got to try to get everything up 
M2 chip, um, high, uh, I didn't even know what, what was needed. Somebody told me I needed a faster processor and more RAM. So I got a faster processor and I got more RAM. We are starting this year off good. We're going to get these videos out. So that's the next thing. First thing was getting a subscriber count up. The next thing is getting, um, first thing is getting a subscriber count up. The next thing is getting, um, getting up the, uh, the watch hours. That's going to be a challenge for me. And I was like, I'm going to get my watch hours before I get the subscribers because nobody was subscribing to me. Like it was just like, I was putting in all this effort, all of this work, you know, making all of these videos and people was not fucking with it. Like, and I was just like, why are they not fucking with these videos? Like, this is my passion. And I just have to realize like, this is not what people want to see from me right now. They want to see try on videos and just like basic stuff. And I can still do my craft. I can still do my travel videos, do my edits. I'm never going to stop, you know, doing that. That's what, that's my passion. But you also have to find a way to feed your audience as well or find your audience, find out what people like, what people want to see in order for it to be the financial gain, uh, the financial side of it. You have to find out what people want to see. And, um... I've cracked the code. <laughs> um, I figured out what people want to see. And I'm going to find a way to kind of transition over, you know, just to, you know, less of that, more of what I want to do. But you got to find like a happy medium. So that's my advice to anybody beginning. You have to find, it's going to be kind of hard to find your audience if you can't find your audience. So I won't say you have to find your audience. I've been trying to find my audience for three years. And um, I still haven't fully found my audience for the content that I really, truly want to create. Um, but I'm still going to create that content. I'm still going to put it out. Because once you upload it, it's there, for, it's there for however long you keep it up there. It's there for life. And the people who um fucking with it, they're they going to find you eventually. But right now I'm doing both. I'm doing, um, and I do, I like the try on videos too. They're fun. But the, the downside to the try on videos is that I spent a lot of money last year. Like I'm sick to my stomach to see how much money I've spent last year just on buying clothes and, you know, just things like that. It's, it's not a good habit. It's fun when you do, when you get, it's like I told somebody, like I have a problem, like, I like to shop. Yes, I have a shopping problem. I realized I've had a shopping problem. And I like to get the clothes. Once they come in the mail, the excitement is there. Once you open in the package, looking at the items, trying them on. And once you hang them up, put them in the closet, the excitement goes away. So I had to work on that because I spent a lot of money. And I significantly put myself in an upside down situation, which this year is about getting back on top. It's about getting financially in a better predicament. It's about building um, a solid, it's about building a solid foundation for financial gain. Um, just starting a brand for myself, getting a name for myself, and just getting some, you know, some deals behind me, like some, some real money coming in. That's what I'm focused on. That's all I'm focused on this year. Um, I can't be distracted by everything that was distracting me last year. Um, trying to have a kid, trying to hold down relationships and, you know, just everything else that was going on in this world that kind of distracted me and took away my energy and my drive. All of that's um, over. We're going to think positive and we're going to focus on financial gain this year because this life that I got right now, it's lovely. I thank you, God, for it. But I know you got something better out there for me that's less stressful and more smiles on my face. And I know you're just trying to set me up in a position to obtain that. And I'm going to put myself in that position to obtain that, <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyway, but I'm kind of scared to put this video up right now because um, I got to like 90, I think I got to 990 eight subscribers like two days ago and then like people just started unsubscribing i was like wait wait where are you going <laughs>
<laughs> what did I say? That's how it is when you um you start losing subscribers. You never know like what what video did they watch? What did I say in the video that made them not want to subscribe to me anymore? But I'm just scared to upload this video because I don't want to upload it and somebody be on there and I lose like three subscribers and they be like, she ain't got no thousand subscribers yet. But I have proof. I have proof that I got to a thousand because I screenshotted it. I waited all day. I was at 999. I was at 999. And then I just refreshed it and it was at a thousand. I'm like, boom, baby, we in there. Already got the green check that says I'm at a thousand. Let's go. We need the watch hours now. Let's get the watch hours. But my homeboy, um, well, ex-homeboy, ex-homeboy told me that I was going to get the subscribers first. He told me this last year. At the beginning of last year, he said, you're going to get your subscribers first before you get the watch hours. And I said, no, I'm not because nobody's subscribing to me, but people are watching my videos. Like I'm getting all of these views, but nobody's subscribing. I said, I'm going to reach my watch, watch hours first. And he was like, no, you're not. He was like, the watch hours refresh every day. Like every day it's, it's, you need 4,000 from that day. So if I got a thousand or 2000 watch hours last year on the second, those 2,000 hours are gone because now it's the third this year. So it's based on what happened on the third till now. You get me? So when he explained it to me like that, I'm like, you're right. I might get the subscribers first. And he definitely was right. I'll give him his credit for that. I did reach those subscribers. But anyway, I don't want to talk y'all head off. This is not supposed to be a long video. This is just supposed to be me being happy, living in a moment, trying to absorb this, which I can't really absorb it. I'm like, wow, it's really happening. When my um when my followers started going up crazy, and of course I was thirst trapping, yeah, but I just started like dabbling into the reels. And when you dabble into the reels on Instagram, you start getting viral and start getting picked up and people start liking it and people start seeing how pretty you are, how you was a hidden gem that nobody knew about, but you was out there for however long. Cause I was out there from the beginning. I was out there from the beginning when Instagram first started, when Instagram was only for iPhones, I was out there. I'm that old. And now I was at 3,000, like 3,500 or 3,400 um, followers for years up until freaking October, I think. And I screenshotted it. I have a screenshot. Um, I have to look. I was at 3,400 followers. And then I got to 10,000 followers on Thanksgiving Day. I remember that. I just kept watching it. It was going up. It was going up. It was going up. Got to 10,000. I was like, boom. Once you hit that K, once you got that K, it's only up from there. So now we at 25 or 26. I got to look. I think it's 25. We're at 25 right now. So it's only up from here. So once again, I just want to thank y'all for supporting me. Make sure you uh, stay subscribed. Make sure you tell your friends to subscribe. Um, Share this video. Share um, all of my other videos. Go to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Go look at my reels. Like my reels. Comment on my reels. It's only up from here. Let's see. Let's see my growth uh, this time next year. We're going to see where we're at. So every year I'm probably going to make a video. Touching bases just to see my growth. To see where I'm at. So this is where I'm at right now. These are my stats. As of uh, today, um, and I will see you guys later.